Hey guys, it's Sammy, aka Jesse James, and today I've got a class for you I'm going to call the Smoky Bandit. So the whole premise behind this build is that you throw your smoke grenades down, stand in or around the smoke and just shoot your enemies right through it. And as you can see by the intro, you can hardly see a thing apart from a few bullets flying through. So let's get on with it and show you the class setup. So the things that you're definitely going to need are going to be smoke grenades, a scavenger so you can have a constant supply of smoke grenades coming your way, and a millimetre scope or the dual band scope, which isn't quite as effective but we'll get into that later. I find that a stealthier option is generally works quite well with this, so a suppressor is going to work really well because one, it keeps you off the radar when you're shooting from the smoke, so the enemies will hopefully have no idea you're in the smoke shooting at them, and uh, also reduces the muzzle flash a lot so you, they can visibly can't see you quite as well. For the same reason I like to use cold blooded because it, even if you are out of the smoke for a little bit your name won't flash up so it's going to keep you a lot more hidden. And also ghost just in case the enemy's got a UAV going and also to keep the whole stealthy build going. In case you're wondering why I've only got one smoke grenade it's because you can only have one for some reason or another. I'm not really sure why that is. But for this reason I've just spent a point on a grenade of some sort, but you can put it anywhere else you want, maybe have a secondary if you feel you need it. Although I've shown you a mix of sniper rifles and SMGs, I find that SMGs tended to work the best. Just because they've got the best mobility, and also the fact that you're going to be wanting to kill people up close so you keep grabbing those scavenger packs to replenish your smoke grenades. And if you've got a sniper rifle or an LMG they're just not as effective in that range. So. It did work quite well in parts, but there wasn't really much chance of getting the uh, scavenger packs after, so I think the SMG would have done better in most circumstances. But it's up to you, the options there. Perhaps if you're a quick scoper, then maybe it would be perfect for you. The rifles can also make use of the millimetre scanner, but I just found they weren't quite as effective, unless maybe you checked the stock on there, because if you want to be aiming down sight quite a lot, which you will be if you want to do well with this, then you're going to be really slow. And the submachine gun's got a pretty fast inbuilt um, aim down, well, speed when you're aiming down the sight, so I think it's a lot better for that. I did try it with a KSG, but I wasn't too good with it, but maybe you'll do better with it, because it's got quite a good range on it. Perhaps maybe the, um, the stakeout wannabe, whatever that's called, that might be quite useful as well. It could actually be the best thing, and I just haven't tried it, but you know, have a go, and if it's any good, let me know. So as for why I think that the millimetre scanner is better than the dual band scope, it comes down to one simple reason really, other than of course the weapons it can be equipped on, is that if you're looking at an enemy with cold blooded through the smoke, and uh, if you're looking for a dual band scope you won't be able to see them at all, but if you've got a millimetre scanner you will, uh, the only thing that will keep them hidden from is looking through walls, which is really just a bonus when you're playing this way. So it kind of alleviates the problem of having to worry of, oh no, is there somewhere cold blooded there? Because You'll be, you would have seen them anyway. So anyway guys, I uh, hope you have fun with this one. It's definitely a bit of a weird build, but it can work really well if you use it quite well. It would be absolutely awesome if you could get six of you doing this on one team. Just with the amount of smoke grenades and scavenger packs everywhere, you could just literally just cover the whole area in smoke. But I haven't found enough people to do it with yet. But hopefully one day I will. Anyway guys, that's all I've got time for. And I uh, hope you have fun with it. Bye bye now. Bye bye.